Today we look at solutions to reduce the fuel consumption of a 40 tonner. Usually it needs about 36 liters. We want to see 26 liter. Since we live in 2015, it is possible to minimize the fuel consumption of 26.5 liters, which is a saving of more than 10 liters. During the film we are going to visualize, on this side, the particular steps we applied to meet our targets and which consequences we had to face. Here is how it works. Let's start with first piece. As you can see it's not too small, it carries weight. Speed limit at 85 km per hour. This means the driver should synchronize the speed control between 82 and 83 km per hour, not faster, to guarantee a balanced driving style. For this purpose, a very important step is to clarify and to explain your plans to your drivers in a transparent way. There's no space for sneakiness or any secrets. Keep in constant touch and give evident reasons for the new strategy. Then this will lead to a positive effect in terms of the average fleet consumption. As you can see, this second piece isn't as big as the first one. But certainly it's one of the most important points. Here is why. Only a recent electronic data transmission and, as a consequence of this, a proper analysis like how much do we consume in which space of time, etc., enables us to understand problems, to find new solutions and to implement them into daily working routine. Part 3. The bonus system. A bigger piece again, this carries weight. Our idea is to offer an incentive by using this bonus system. Not just for every driver as an individual, but also in addition as a possibility to succeed economically as a group. Our drivers are pleased about this new opportunity to increase their monthly wage, corresponding to their fuel consumption of course. Looking at point 4, we can see low rolling resistant tires. Surely, the last 20 years every new tire was advertised as a low rolling resistant tire but by the implementation of new material in the last few years, the current low rolling resistant tires are pretty much adequate to reduce our fleet consumption. Part 5. Again a big piece. Here we are going to analyze the elementary correlations between the trucks and mass and the trucks consumption. In other words, by reducing the trailer's weight, we will recognize a striking effect to the entire fleet consumption. Part 6. Now we are looking at the aerodynamic components. We have already attacked roof spoilers to every tractor. That's why we are concentrating currently on the trailer's aerodynamic efficiency. For this purpose, the company Webco and its subsidiary companies develop excellent aerodynamic components, more precisely, lateral attachment parts for an improved aerodynamics of the trailer. Part 7 includes the same idea as Part 6. It's about aerodynamic components for the trailer tails. Former trailer tails were cut like a piece of sausage. Nowadays the Webco component OptiFlow tail modifies the truck length, which again leads to an improved aerodynamics at the trailer. In consequence of this positive physical effect, the fuel consumption will drop. Part 8. Generally it's important to implement appropriate technology for appropriate use. If we look at the tractor, we have to choose the appropriate power range for the appropriate work. To give a simple example. 10 horsepower per ton and 10% to be on the safe side means for a 40 tonner 400 horsepower plus 10% to be on the safe side that's 440 horsepower. A second example shows the importance of a correct axle ratio. By reducing the revolutions per minute, the engine will work more slowly, which leads to an optimized fuel consumption. Part 9. The last part describes a topic which is easy and should definitely be established. Employee training. 
unschooled employees are the cause of bad motivation and poor handling with technology. Trained employees are the cause of correct handling with technology, are highly motivated and always up to date in terms of technology, companies, objectives, etc. Therefore, we see employed training as one of the most important points at all. In 2008, we had an average lead consumption of something between 36 and 37 liters per 100 kilometers. In 2015, we accomplished by implementing those nine actions to reduce the usual fuel consumption of particular trucks to 26 liters per 100 kilometers. In consequence, the entire fuel consumption decreased successively. Finally, we can state that our idea to admit only 20 liters per 100 kilometers in 2020 is within reach.